Hello, I'm Simon. Welcome back to my workshop. And in this video, I'm going to be replacing the handle on this old butter knife. Let's get tinkering. I've had this butter knife pretty much as long as I can remember. It's the only one we've got, so it's not in a set. And the handle is bone, but it's been put in the dishwasher a few times by mistake and the bone has really deteriorated and now the shaft inside this bone is starting to rust. So I'm going to replace it with a wooden handle. This knife gets used pretty much every day and whilst I could replace it quite cheaply, I like doing woodwork and I think it'd be quite a nice project to put a new handle on it. So that's what I'm going to do. For this project, I'm going to use this little bit of stained beech. It's off of an old chair. It's quite a cheap chair, but I think um, it will make quite a nice handle. I'm going to start by just removing the handle and cleaning up this part of the knife. This dark wood is quite difficult to mark up, so I'm just going to clean a couple of the sides so that I've got a surface that I can actually draw on. I'm going to use the old handle as a template, but I've decided that I want the handle to be a bit longer than the original handle was. I don't yet have a tapering jig for my table saw, so I'm going to cut this by hand on the bandsaw. So here's my blank. I've never been that successful drilling long holes in thin things, so I don't hold out a lot of hope for this, but I've tried my best. I've clamped it all up, and I believe I've got this as straight as I can, so we'll just see what happens. I can always make another if this doesn't work. The hole isn't quite central. I'll only know if that's a problem when I fit the two pieces together. The diameter is also a little bit too small at the moment. I did that deliberately and the hole isn't quite deep enough. I've set my drill bit so it's only just holding in the drill so that I can get a deep enough hole. I really need a longer drill. I can now drill it to the correct diameter. I can now do a test fit. So it's getting a little tight. I don't want to force the knife in because I don't want the wood to split. So I'm going to just enlarge in the hole by moving the drill bit around. That's good. Looking at the shoulder of this knife, it's slightly conical, so I need to accommodate that on the handle. Otherwise there'll be a little gap around the edge, which I don't want. All my chisels are a bit too big, so I'm going to use a needle file. I can see that it's not quite square with the shoulder here, so I'm going to mark around it using the shoulder itself as a guide. I think I'm going to need to use a, a rule as well. And I'll trim this square using a file. Perfect. It's not very comfortable to hold at the moment, so I sand the corners. I'm just going to finish it off with a bit of 220 grip. I'm going to glue the knife onto the handle using some two-part epoxy. Finally, I'll give the handle three coats of yacht varnish. So after 24 hours, the varnish still wasn't dry. So I popped it in the oven for a few minutes to make it harden off. That left me with a couple of small blisters, which I didn't like. So I rubbed the varnish down and ended up using a water-based polyurethane, which worked out really well and dried after only half an hour and could be recoated after a couple of hours. So I've finished this now and I'm really pleased with the results. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, then please subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.